Hey YouTubers, um, coming to you this evening from my office showing you my Urban Survival Kit. Now I know what you're probably saying, you've seen a lot of these on YouTube, why do we need another? Well I've been carrying this kit for two years and I've put a lot of thought into it. And I'm hoping that this will contribute something that the other videos did not. Um, so I might as well just jump in because this is probably going to be a bit of a long video. So bear with me. Um, it's a simple Altoids tin. Wrapped around it is six feet of paracord. Um, I'll show you how to wrap it once we're done. And I use that for um, for most, most anything. Uh, it's come in handy. For instance, recently I broke my belt. And so I was at school and uh, needed it to help me keep my pants up. Um, but so six feet of paracord <clears throat> on on the outside I'm gonna cover up a little bit of this information um, have some contact information basic then I have um, some duct tape which it, that can be used but that's not necessarily why it's there it's because under it is 600 grit sandpaper now the reason why I keep that there is um, I I usually carry a knife every day. Um, today it's my UKPK. Maybe I'll do a review on that sometime later. Um, and if it just so happens that I need to put a utility edge on it real quick, uh, I can with that sandpaper. So I keep that face down with uh, duct tape over it. On the inside, I have postcards, or um, excuse me, post-it notes, and under that I have taped in the lid um, some contact information. Now this is for people to contact me if I've lost this, but it's also in case this is found on me, it has contact information for my family, and um, it has a list of things such as my, my allergies, my blood type, things like that. But be careful. If you have something like this that has your address on it, your name, or telephone, things like that, do not keep a spare key in your urban uh, survival kit. That way someone knows where you live and has a key to your residence. It's unsafe. So just remember that. I don't keep a spare key in this. I keep a spare key elsewhere. I really advise you not to. Um, here I keep on top a small magnifying glass. This is good for reading small text as I'm a student. Um, and if, if I were out in the wilderness, uh, it could be used to start a fire. But again, this is an urban EDC. Under that I keep four postcard stamps in case I want to send something home to my family. Um, currently living in Scotland, got one more year here. Um, so it's... It's nice. Under here, usually I would keep a second form of ID. I dropped my subway card in here just to give you what it would look like because I didn't want to show my ID on YouTube. Uh, but it fits right up there on top. What's nice is it's, it's the exact size of the canister. Holds everything nice and tight in there. Under that, I keep a uh, wipe for cleaning my uh, my iPod screen, my computer screen, things like that. Uh, very handy. Rubber band, earplugs, which I'm I'm in an office, and sometimes sometimes people like to type too hard on their keyboard or play music and comes through their their headphones so it's nice to on occasion have earplugs uh, next I keep a mint this is it happens to be chewing gum I always mark it with something this says of course mint um, fingernail clippers with of course a fingernail file um, great thing to have around, especially if you plan on going into meetings and you want to look a bit more groomed. A small Swiss Army knife um, that has, you know, your typical blade, small screwdriver, nail cleaner, 
uh, nail file, tweezers, toothpick, and scissors. Under that, I keep enough money on hand, change on hand, for bus fare. Which here in Edinburgh, bus fare is uh, a pound forty. So I keep enough for two, um, two passes. Um, that's really good in case I'm tired when I go home, or for instance, it's raining, which seems to be... 364 days of the year here. Um, in here I also have several different types of needles including push needles, thread wrapped around that, and two buttons. Uh, it's good when I lose a button on a shirt and I want to look a bit more presentable I can I can sew one of those on real quick to get by. Um, I have two sinus pills Sometimes I get sinus headaches. Uh, this is a... Uh, I think it's called True Utility or something. It's a UK company. You can get a better one um, from Countycom. And it's there. It's a peanut lighter. Um, but, I mean, that I, I refilled that with lighter fluid about a year ago. And it still lights. So, um, because of the... The seal, you're you're not losing any lighter fluid. I have, I keep the end wrapped with um, just a cellophane, cellophane, whatever you call it, uh, just to keep dust and stuff out. But this is a 16 gigabyte um, drive, eyeglass screwdriver. Uh, it also works well on on my computer for the small screws. Probably should just eliminate this because it's not useful anymore now that I I have this, but this was another magnifying glass that I keep wrapped up so it doesn't get scratched. This is kind of weird. I keep it I keep it wrapped in wax paper and then again wrapped in plastic, but it's it's a um, cut off my deodorant, um, so that I, if I ever need deodorant, I could open this up and apply some. It, I've actually, I've not used this, but I have used my previous one that was in here before, and it really helped. Um, but make sure it's wrapped, or else everything in your box is going to be smelling like your deodorant. Cotton ball, part of a cotton ball, just to keep something from all the stuff from jiggling around and making noise. Uh, two ibuprofen pills. Um, I I review this uh, separately, um, but uh, you can you can check it out. It's Streamlight Nano. It's good for these boxes, but like I say on the video, it's not good for the keychain. So, um, but for the boxes. A great little little light it puts out 10 lumens um, very very tiny uh, let's see what is this oh um, four caffeine pills uh, not a big coffee drinker so it helps uh, a razor blade now you you will have some razor burn after you just try to dry shave, but at least you can get yourself your your face wet and shave. But it's it's good for just tidying up, especially if I miss um, shaving before I go in to a meeting with my advisor. It's a it's a good thing to look presentable. Here in the side, I I keep um, a ten pound note. Um, I don't know if you can... I'm not going to unfold that all the way. Um, if you're in America, probably like something like a $20 bill would be great. And I just put it in a large paper clip to keep it from unfolding. Uh, this is a tiny pin cartridge. Uh, I, may, I may review this separately later. I'm not sure. But I keep a, a tiny pin on my keychain and so it's a refill for that. Um, great little pin, telescopic. 
Uh, then I keep <laughs> packets of McDonald's salt and pepper. Uh, yeah, in case you want to do something on your food. Plus, I think pepper is a coagulant, and I'm sure salt's probably good for a lot of things. Uh, under that, I have two push pins, which are great for the office. I have a <laughs> I, I, it's a piece of pencil lead, but I wanted to make it stronger, so I took the sheath from some paracord and melted it around the pencil lead. And it's surprisingly strong. I mean, I'm putting a good bit of pressure on that, and it's not breaking. It works. I mean, it's tiny, but it'll, it'll get the job done in a pinch. Um, I have a bit of medical tape wrapped around on itself. Two anti-diarrhea pills. Another tiny paper clip. Get that out of the way. Um, these, it's wrapped up in duct tape, but it's uh, safety pins. A few, two, I think it's too small, too large. Uh, three medium to large band-aids. And I'm not going to take these out, but hopefully you can see them duct taped against this wall there to keep them out of the way are four small zip ties, which those have come in handy when trying to tidy up around the office, um, binding cords and things like that. Um, then on the bottom, I, I just took, um, a lot of people have those fobs on their keychain for like, um, Food Lion and Bilo and Walmart, like a, a scan thing for discounts. Well, the, the place in Tesco, I go, uh, the place in Scotland I go to all the time is Tesco. So I just took their little barcode and taped it. So all I have to do, scan my little box across there. If the paracord's not in the way, and it beeps, and I'm I'm through. So finally, imagine that I put everything back in there. Uh, the easiest way to wrap these up is you take a bit of this, you put it sideways, I don't know if you can see, then you take it and you continue to wrap it. You wrap it around and around and around. I'll try to speed up this process. And once you get to the end, then you take the extra little bit that you have and you tuck it through this loop down at the end. So I tend to go from the back, tuck it up, and then grab the other end while holding this and cinch it through. And then this can be just tucked back over under here, and you're done. And then on the outside, a lot of times, I'll just take extra money that I have in my, my pocket if I don't have a wallet or whatever, and I'll, I'll slip that under there. I know that's not perfect, but... And I'll also take cards. You can put them under there. So you have... a little t a pocket case if you're a big guy like I am you don't really notice this nobody notices it on you uh, if you're larger you'll probably have to uh, smaller you'll probably have to put it in a bag um, but tell me what you think I put a lot of time into this um, also tell me if you got any extra ideas um, hope you like it thanks guys